guys! If you saw my Friday live stream video, then you were definitely expecting to see my bullet journal setup for 2017. I ended up deciding to go with this black slim Leucht term notebook, and I have this little paper plane sticker from Copia that I have up in this corner, and I'm actually really excited about getting back into using this system just because it has been so, so long. I have this sticky note that is marble printed from station stickers that has my name written on it. I will try to link everything that I talk about down below just so it makes it easier for you all. The first couple pages is the table of contents that is actually built into the notebook and all of the pages are numbered so it makes it super easy to organize all of the pages. I have two additional pages for the table of contents should I need that extra space. And then the first like official page of the notebook is for my key and it basically just consists of task boxes with various like statuses and then a circle for events and an asterisk for priorities. This gold foiled washi tape is from Simply Gilded and the two sticky notes are from the Target Dollar Spot. This little smiley face sticky is from the Notebook Doodles and this watch sticker is from Copia. I use this Tombow mono permanent adhesive roller and it just rolls out double sided tape that is absolutely perfect for rolling down all of the sticky notes that I get from the tar Target dollar spot just because they aren't super super sticky on their own. And then next I have this spread that is what most people would call a future log. And so I have the next six months, January through June of 2017, written out on the left portion of both of these pages and on the right portion here in all of this empty space, I'm going to write out the things like appointments and tasks and events that I know about ahead of time. So that way I just will log them into this spread and I can refer back to that once I plan out each month individually and this was something that I am starting in this bullet journal just as a sort of I guess um, solution to the reason why I decided to avoid bullet journaling um, in the first place because I wasn't really able to plan for the future but with this spread I think I will be able to. All of the stickers here are from Crafty Delicious Loves and I absolutely adore how this spread turned out. I love these colors together and this craft paper sticky note is from Flying Tiger. So then next, I actually have these two blank pages for my New Year's resolutions that I haven't filled out yet. You'll notice throughout this video that a lot of the pages themselves are empty and without a whole lot of information. And that's because I just wanted to show you all the bare bones setup of what the bullet journal looks like without me writing in all of like my goals and the things that I have to get done. This sticky note is from Target and the gold foiled washi strips are from Flying Tiger. I will definitely film a plan with me video for January and that will be up on my channel as soon as possible so you guys can kind of see an update on how all of this looks. This is my level 10 life spread. I talked about it in my how to start a bullet journal video and I just kind of use it to visually represent my life as I see it and um... I'm very excited to just start fresh in this bullet journal and this is a spread I've had in all three of my bullet journals thus far. I have these two stickers from Station Stickers and then this is a page flag from the Target Dollar Spot as well as some washi from Simply Gilded. The next two pages are going to be for tracking three things. I will track the books that I want to read, the TV shows that I want to watch, as well as the films that I want to see in the movie theater. So this is a very low priority page. It's something that I can just refer to when I just need something to do, if I don't have anything to do and I have some free time. And so I'm excited to fill this out with the things that I've been meaning to go over. These next 
two pages are for like social media related things. Um, this entire page is going to be dedicated to video ideas. I absolutely love when you guys comment under my videos requesting different videos that you'd like to see from me and that's something I'm going to make a long long list of to make sure that I really get as many done as I can. And on this page, I think I'm going to try to do some sort of horizontal tracker for my Instagram. I'm not sure if I want to track all of the like pictures I upload on there, or I want to track how many followers I gain per day, or something like that. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I, again, like I will definitely update you as soon as I can. These two sticky notes are from the Target Dollar Spot, and this washi is from Simply Gilded. Oh, I almost forgot the pens that I use in this bullet journal, like all of the writing done on these like page flags and sticky notes are from this Muji hexagonal twin tip marker. But all of the other writing that you see is from this black 0.38 Pilot Juice pen or the 0.38 black Muji gel ink pen. So this next spread is where I keep this first bookmark for my bullet journal and it's my January monthly overview. As you can tell, I decided to not do the traditional box calendar layout and instead went with this list format that has a column of all of the dates along this side and then I think I'm going to add in a column of all of the days of the week as well. And then on this side of the page, I think I'm going to track all of my goals for the month. And typically I've noticed by like a lot of like Instagrammers for like the bullet journal and study communities that a lot of people like pick a word of the year that they really want to be their main focus or priority or value and since I face different things every single month I decided that I wanted to try out making like a word of the month which is what I have written up here and as soon as I decide on what that's going to be I think that can really help me focus my goals to towards realizing that value or making that more true about myself and again you guys will see all of this as I fill it out in my January plan with me video this sticky note is from Target this is from station stickers and then this washi is from MT masking tape the next page of my journal is actually something I've never done in my bullet journal before and that's a gratitude page for the month and I know a ton of people do gratitude logs where they write one or more things that they are grateful for every single day but I know that I don't have that kind of discipline and I might not come back to this page every single day so instead I have one page for the entire month and so whenever there's something notable that I am definitely very grateful for I want to write that down here and that'll be really great to reflect on in the future these two sticky notes are from Crafty Licious Loves and I absolutely love, love, love how these clouds look and this is from Target. This sticky note is also from Target and this is a collection I decided that I just wanted to start and I can do as frequently as I'd like to in the future. And this spread is titled At My Older Self. It's kind of a sort of collection that is like me like right now and I just wanted to have um, a spread that I wrote down all sorts of little facts about myself like my age and then like all of the favorite things that I currently have like songs, books, movies, TV shows and as well as like who my like best friends are, what I'm thinking, what my aspirations are and that way it'll be something that'll be really cool to come back to in the future and kind of reflect on who I once was because like the other day I found a journal from like I think third grade or something and I had a page where I wrote down all of my favorite things and obviously those things have changed drastically because I'm now 17 years old but it was just really cool to see like where I once was and what I used to be. 
The next two pages here is something I copied off of Pinterest, I believe, and it's 50 things that highly productive people do differently. And I thought that this was super appropriate to keep in my bullet journal because this is going to be my planning system for the next couple months and therefore will be a tool for productivity. And this way I just have a collection of all of these reminders and different um, things I can do to be more productive and and that'll just help me like stay motivated and be as hardworking as I can. Uh, this sticky note is from Target and this is written with a Pilot Juice pen. And then last but not least, I have the start of my daily spreads. I have just this sticky note from Target that says December 24th on it and this washi tape from Simply Gilded. I just wrote my to-do list straight up in the black pilot juice pen you'll notice if you've seen any of my bullet journal videos previously that I do not have a color code that I'm using for this bullet journal and that's just because I think it's more efficient for me to not use one anymore at least for the time being because it ends up taking a lot more time to switch between colors and things like that so I'm just going to try it out with just plain black and seeing how that works for me and I might just go back to the color coding if I need to. And then since the new week is starting, I have this Muji weekly sticky note that has a little overview of the week that I can fill out and kind of plan for the future that way. And the second bookmark will be on the current day as I continue through the bullet journal. If you guys have any suggestions for collections that you think I should have in my bullet journal or methods that you found very useful for you, Definitely leave it in the comments down below and I will be sure to check it out and take your suggestions Thanks guys for watching Be sure to check out my previous video if you enjoyed this one Make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and also check out my snapchat instagram and tumblr accounts. Bye guys